time for part two. Now, if you ask me, yeah, I am making videos too fast, I know, but this is just a lot of news, a lot of overwhelming news that I can't just hold in for an another week. I, If I find news, I have to throw it on there. I, I hope you guys really don't mind, but <clears throat> this is just news. I mean, before in the video, I'm like, okay, this might not be true, but I read more, and this is actually probably... It sounds true. I mean, the other uh, Needle Mouse project for the website sounded true, but it was fake. Um, I looked down on this website. This is an online petition by this kid that sent it to me on YouTube saying, hey, it's an online petition for the thing. Uh, Simon. I don't know who Simon is. Now, they say that this is... Uh, they keep calling it Dreamcast 2. All right, look at this. Uh, former Lucas Arts head Simon Jeffrey stepped down after E3 this year. Though in 2008 he denied that they were making another console. Uh, the company had also been talking about integration. The Unity <coughs> waiting to be united. The company. I'm guessing I'm talking about Sega's uh, Sammy, because they made a deal that they'll be together. Um, this actually sounds real. I mean, it sounds great. I mean, it sounds so amazing that they're going to go against the Wii. I would love this console. I would really love it. Let's see this part I read. That made me really excited. That's why I'm really excited I had to make this video. I had to. I'm sorry, kids. I had to. Um, where is it? Uh, Dreamcast console, yada yada yada. Smash arcade game patents that discovered sometimes interesting. The Dreamcast and Cosmic Smash patents registered that are unrelated to the original patents, which means people that are actually going to come back. I think. Wait, no Miko arcade title. Alright, never mind. <coughs> I, I, I read that. It's going to come out in 2010. They're going to go against the Wii. It's going to have HD graphics. Let's see. Chosen. Da, da, da. Sega Sammy plans on shipping the system with two controllers, a motion sensor, um, with the, uh, a, motion, a sensing remote, uh, one which looks familiar to the Saturn uh, 3D controller, one of a casual gaming. Well, one for casual gaming and the other one for non-casual, for shooting and stuff. Uh, to top off, S Sega Sammy shall uh, be using a strapped-down version of Microsoft Windows Embedded Standard 2009 for ease of development, which means a lot of people, third-party companies. We're, talk we're talking Capcom, we're talking Namco, we're talking all these dudes, Epic Games, probably, you know, I'm not saying that Epic Games will join Sega. I'm just saying they maybe, because they're third, third party. Uh, all gonna be making this for, for the Sega Saturn. I mean, this will definitely be better than the Wii. I mean, most people might not agree, but I think the Wii sucks. Personally, yeah, it does. They have no third party support. All the Nintendo's making their own games, and yeah, they're good, but they suck. I don't like playing Nintendo games all the time. I like some variety. Like the GameCube. The GameCube was great. It had a lot of third-party support. We're talking Sega. We're talking Nintendo did most of the work. But it had a lot of games to offer. This Wii, it has nothing to offer. It just has Wii Sports, Wii Fit, Wii Sports, Wii Fit, Mario, Zelda, um, what's his name? Um, the little uh, robot Metroid, uh, Wii Fit, Wii Sports, Wii Fit, Mario, Wii Fit, Wii Sports, Wii Fit, and it just keeps going on. They made Wii Fit, Wii Fit 2, Wii Fit 1, Wii Fit 3. I'm tired of it, really. I mean, a lot of people, actually, not a lot of people, some people that really love Nintendo will disagree with me, which is kind of which is really understandable because if you grew up with Nintendo, you would love Nintendo. I grew up with Sega, I love Sega. That's what my passion is. Sorry. But if this isn't true, my heart's going to be sh 
shot because you see how excited I am in this video. Um, all right, so let's see right here. Um, da, 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 which means Sega could be designing. All right, so they got this new software that make it easier to make hardware, so they can make hardware now. Uh, the program cuts down to 30 percent, which means designers can develop uh, games easier, which means no more sixty dollar Xbox games, which means they're gonna knock Xbox right out of the count, or seventy dollar games. They're gonna break them down back to fifty dollars and forty dollars, which is a nice regional price for games. And the console will be um, a ranging from not or uh, no more than two hundred dollars or two fifty, which is great. I love that, cause that's not a lot. 300 for the 360 or 400 400 or 600 from for the PS3 250 for the Wii which I think it should have been 150 cuz the Wii sucks um but really two controllers it gives you two controllers if this is actually true now it also says in this thing that they're not going to tell anybody but look at this thing this thing is actually telling you they're saying that they're not going to tell like the big game companies I think because they want to surprise people, but somebody in there spoiled it, so they're not going to tell the world until 2010. So if in 2010 we're disappointed, I'll make another video saying, hey, this was all a joke. My excitement in the other video was all a lie, and I'll be very ashamed. But, you know, you can kick me while I'm down then, but right now I'm excited, so you better not. So... They got patents. Well, here's the thing. They're saying that they're going to make it in Japan. So it's in Japan, supposedly. And they're supposed to bring it over here to America. So basically, Simon Jeffrey has no power over that. If Sega in Japan says, we want the console to be great. And we want Sega to be back to its old name. And we want it over in the U.S. to see how it will do. The uh, Sega of America will either, they have to go with it, basically. So that's why, let's see, flash memory cards, handheld pods now are appearing. Both of these um, descriptions do not appear in original patents. So the, the memory cards are going to be handheld pads, I guess. Um, where is it? Dreamcast, good service. Da, 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 I don't care about that. Uh, controller shaped. Okay, look, look at this. Uh, they're going to have controllers in the shape of handguns, controllers in the shape of fishing rods, grips, mouse, uh, video signal converters, connected co to the computer for RGB displays. So this is basically the stuff that they're coming out with. It's going to be awesome if they actually do. Oh, wait. Video game machines with TVs. Uh, I think I mentioned it's supposed to be HD. Which is awesome, great graphics and stuff. That's what we're talking about, Sega. Sega, if you make this system, I will love you. Love you. Let's see. Sega was planning to release 30 titles for the Xbox, but seemed for the unreleased Saturn games and the sequel to Fighters um, Mega Mix. Also, another patent just popped up. So basically, these are just patents that just popped up. They were supposed to make a lot of games for the Wii. Xbox, but they just like cut them all and they're waiting for their console. Now, this other this kid that I, I made my needle mouse project thing, they said that this is going to be released on the Sega console, which is not a bad idea, Sega. That's a great idea. A 2D Sonic game, everybody's waiting for it, and you're throwing your console out there. That's the best idea, I would think. So, uh, I'm gonna end this video. You can see how excited I am. It's over. Subscribe, comment. Got to comment. You have to. This is something that you just have to comment on. I'm sorry. And um, whoa, movie maker. All right. And just you know, watch my other videos because they are cool.